What's going on everybody? This is Captain Chad. Today's Friday and it's time for a navigational tech tip. You can see the blue skies behind me. It's a super clear day. Not the day you'd be thinking about radar, but if you've been fishing over the past couple weeks, you've seen sea fog. We get cold water temps and warm air temps. You know how Florida fluctuates with your weather. If you don't like the weather, wait a couple hours. So anyway, the cold water temperatures and hot air temperatures will cause sea fog. And it stayed the other day we went fishing last Friday and it stayed with us all day long. You could never see more than about a half a mile. Once you started coming back in the inlet, you couldn't see but about a quarter of a mile, if that. Take a look at this cargo ship that Captain Bill encountered when he was coming back in the inlet from a charter. I'm stopped in the water watching you go by. Yeah, okay, I see you on the radar. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great trip. Nice. That's pretty scary that that thing is 600 feet long. And we can't see it. And it's 300 feet from us and we can't see it. As you can see, that's a super dangerous situation. And again, today's a very clear day and today is the day you should be practicing with your radar you want to know your inlet you want to know where your cans are and your navigational beacons and you want to be able to practice with your radar when you can see that way you can look at the echoes on the radar screen see the can in relation to it see the jetties how the jetties lay out and how it appears on your radar do that on a clear day like this so you, you can see something that way whenever it does come time that you need it to take your life or the life of your crew into your own hands you're already well versed on how to use it you know what to expect that way you can get in the inlet safer and another little reminder last year or the year before I can't remember I think it was last year Coast Guard changed some cans around so there's a couple more cans offshore of PG so you need to know where these cans are mark them on your GPS so that when you're running offshore you already know where they are so if you don't have your radar you know where the cans are you can go around them that is a navigational tech tip hope it helps you Use your radar on a day when you can see so you know what to expect when you can't see. This is Captain Chad. We'll see you on the water.